Good morning, wild one, and welcome to your practice this morning. Finding a comfortable seated position whenever you're ready. Propping your hips up to create some more space and settling in here. Once you arrive, truly arrive. Allow your sit bones to sink into the earth and then allow the earth to reverberate up through your spine, through your Shushumna Nadi, creating a direct line of energy from your sacrum all the way up to your crown. When you arrive, taking in your space, looking around you and becoming comfortable with where you are this morning. And then, when we've observed closing the eyes and beginning to observe the breath, not changing it, not manipulating it, just noticing what cadence your breath holds today. Is it a sweet inhale and a sweet exhale? Or is it a little more dense, a little more heavy? Placing absolutely no judgment on how our breath is performing this morning. Just allowing it to be meeting our breath exactly where it is. As this awareness permeates your being, allowing there to become a rhythm meeting your breath wherever it is this morning, but matching your inhale to your exhale. So if your natural breath this morning is a count of three on the inhale, matching the exhale with that same count. If it's two this morning, four, six, five, whatever it is, meeting yourself just where you are, not pushing yourself too hard here or holding back. I'm going to read you a beautiful poem by one of my favorite poets, David White. It's entitled, As If Breathing for the First Time. Breathe then, as if breathing for the first time, as if remembering with what difficulty you came into the world what strength it took to turn that first impossible in-breath into a cry to be heard by the world. Your essence has always been that first vulnerability of being found, of being heard, and of being seen. And from the beginning, the one who has always needed and being given so much invisible help. This is how you were when you first came into the world. This is how you are now, all unawares in your new body and your new life. This is the raw vulnerability of your every day, and this is how you will want to be and be remembered when you leave this world. So allowing that beautiful, poem to land as it lands this morning. If it really resonated, allow it to resonate within every one of yourselves. And if it didn't resonate this morning, allowing it to be taken with the wind to land on another being. Remember that this breath is life. 
that the prana that you breathe every morning, every day, every evening, throughout your sleep, is energy, is creating your reality. So breathe fully, live fully here. On your next inhale, we're going to rise our arms up towards the sky, welcoming the inhale. And on an exhale, bringing our hands, our palms together through heart center. Continuing this movement, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. Allowing your breath to move you this morning in whatever count. Match your movement to that cadence. So if you're inhaling for three, take three counts to rise your arms up towards the sky. And if you're exhaling for three, take three counts to return your hands to heart center. Continuing like this. Two more in your own way and in your own time. And then on your next inhale, rising your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, dropping your left fingertips to the left hand side. Inhale, rising. And exhale, bending over to the left hand side. Inhale as we rise. Exhale, right fingertips down, left fingertips reach over. Inhaling through center and exhaling over to the left. Once again, matching your breath to the movement. Three more like this. Whenever that's complete for you, bringing your hands to your knees on an inhale, pulling your heart through, widening your sit bones. And on an exhale, pressing your heart away from your knees, gazing at your navel, rounding your back. Inhaling brings you up and through. Exhale lunges you back. Once again, allowing your breath to guide your movement this morning. When that movement is complete for you this morning, coming to lie on your back. Allowing your whole torso to get heavy. Bending your knees and pressing your feet onto the earth. Bringing your fingertips to your heels so that you can slightly brush them. And once they're placed in this space, hip width distance apart, 
we'll move with our breath. So our inhale rises our hips up towards the sky, rises our arms overhead. And our exhale returns our hips to the earth and our palms to our sides, allowing the movement to be initiated from your feet, from your glutes, from your legs, but never from your spine. Allowing your glutes to stabilize here so that we're not creating any compression in our lumbar spine. And really allowing this movement to be really medicinal for you this morning. So maybe closing your eyes, definitely sinking the breath, with your movement. And maybe see if you could imagine that you're moving through something like syrupy, like maple syrup or molasses, something that's super ooey gooey and juicy this morning. Allowing your breath to deliver you to flow, to deliver you to delicious yumminess. Next time your hips find the earth, bringing one hand to belly, one hand to heart. I'm breathing here for a few breaths. Heel towing your feet to the edges of the mat, allowing your knees to knock in towards one another. Bringing your hands overhead. Raising your right shoulder off of the earth, climbing your right fingertips up towards the sky. And then kind of like you're dropping a weight, just drop it. And left shoulder rises up off of the ground, your left fingertips rise up and then just drop it. And we'll do two more on each side. So right fingertips reach up and drop. Inhale, left fingertips reach up and drop. Right fingertips drop. Left fingertips and drop. Now clasping both elbows with your hands and then just dropping your arms, your elbows over to the left hand side, creating a gorgeous stretch in your right bicep. Inhaling to center, exhaling over to the right hand side. Inhaling to center, Exhaling over to the left hand side. Continuing like this with your own breath. Really allowing your movement to be intuitive here. So if you want to create circles, feel free. If you find a really juicy spot and you want to stay there for a few breaths, be my guest. Really just exploring here. Wonderful. All right, now bringing your arms to your sides, heel toeing your feet a little bit closer but not quite hip width and then dropping your knees over the right hand side we're gonna do some windshield wipers so your arms can kind of go wherever they'd like to whatever feels comfy for you inhaling to center 
and exhaling over to the left. We're gonna kind of sink our, moving our neck with our, our legs. So every time our knees drop to the right, we're gonna gaze left. Inhaling everything to center, knees go to the left, gaze goes to the right. And then allowing your breath to lead you. So allowing this to be an extremely juicy untangling. When we do really easy twists like this, it's like a gentle massage of all of our internal organs. And as we gently massage them, we let them know that we care. We improve digestion. We improve circulation. We, are we allow our lymphatic system to work better. And it also just feels delicious. Being really gentle with yourself this morning, this practice is all about slowing down, returning to our breath, meeting our breath where it is, not trying to manipulate our breath today into different holds or lengthenings, just really allowing our breath to be whatever cadence it is today. And then coming back to center, hugging in both knees towards your chest. Curling up into a little ball and rocking side to side. Hugging your right knee in, letting your left leg go long into this wind relieving pose, relaxing everything else onto the earth. I like to kind of cup my right shin into my right elbow crease and just breathe here for a few moments. As your breath kind of returns to you, deepening and becoming more intentional, it allows our tissues, our muscles to relax as well, to soften, to open. So really noticing if you're tensing anything here. And if something's tensing, see if you can relax it with your awareness. And if it seems to be gripping, maybe just inviting the breath to permeate it, allowing the breath to soften it. Sending prana there. And then releasing this right leg and then creating big circles. So dropping your right knee open to the right hand side and then slowly straightening it as it returns. And then sweeping your right foot over to the left hand side, starting to bend into your knee and then return. So these are really juicy, really slow circles done intuitively, ensuring that the toes are pointing in the same direction as the knee the whole time. So as the toes move and pivot to come to the left-hand side, the knee moves with it. 
when you come to kind of a 90 degree angle, you sweep it up and over to the right hand side. And then we lengthen the right leg, sweep the toes up and over to the left. And then our knee rises up to form a 90 degree angle. And then we sink our breath with this movement, really allowing your breath to guide you intuitively here. Once again, if you find a sticky spot, feeling free to stay there as long as is needed. One more of these with your own breath on this side. And then returning that right foot to the earth, hugging your left leg in, allowing your right leg to splay out long. And hugging this left knee in towards our chest, finding wind relieving pose, maybe hugging the left elbow crease around the shin and then really doing your best to just drop everything else here to get heavy. To be here in this space, breathing, letting go, softening, Checking in with your jaw, ensuring it's not tense. Checking in with your shoulders, with your head, making sure you're not holding anything here. And if you are, that's okay. Just seeing if you can soften a millimeter. but really acknowledging yourself for being able to become aware of it. Allowing the breath to be a sweet and soft massage into the left hip. Really creating A juicy opening. One more breath here, big exhale. And then releasing your holding and sweeping the left knee to the left hand side. Lengthening out, straightening out that left foot, and then sweeping the toes to point up, toes to point over to the right, and then the knee starts to bend, coming to a 90 degree angle, sweeping up and over, all the way over to the left side to begin the circle again. Wonderful. Seeing if you can set, um, sink your breath with your movements. Maybe exhaling as the left side straightens and inhale as we sweep the right knee up on the right side, the left knee up on the right side, apologies. And exhaling as the left knee drops over to the left and straightens out. 
Inhaling as the left knee sweeps up on the right side. Two more of these with your own breath. If a sticky spot arises or the maple syrup or molasses gets too thick at one point, maybe staying there, sending the breath there. And one final return. When you return to center, bringing your knees to hug into your chest once again. Grabbing onto your ankles, pulling your knees in towards your armpits, but making sure that your shoulders are heavy on the earth and your sacrum is also glued to the earth. If either of these are lifting, just traveling your hands further up your shins. And then if they're staying on the earth just fine, you can grab your ankles or your feet but really not uh, not being too concerned with how it looks, really just sinking into how it feels. And when we sink our breath with the opening here, it actually creates a deeper expansion if we're able to breathe in the posture as we open. If we go too far into the posture and we cannot breathe there or we can't relax there, then our body doesn't get the same soft and sweet opening. It can often just create more tightness or sometimes injuries. So really taking it slow, taking it soft and trusting that as we invite breath into the squeaky spots, that they're becoming massaged open by the pranic energy. All right, now hugging your knees in towards your chest, dropping your feet towards the earth, bringing your right ankle to cross onto your left thigh, either staying here if this feels good, or pulling your knees in towards your chest and clasping your hands around the thigh, the left thigh. If that feels good, stay there. If you'd like to go a little further, you can clasp your hands over the left shin. Ensuring your right foot is flexed here. And then breathing deeply into this space. Maybe assisting the right thigh to move back in space with your right elbow. Creating a really nice stretch on our outer right hip. One more deep expansive breath here. Exhaling to release the left leg, 
and drop this whole situation. So keeping this and then dropping it over to the left hand side. So your right foot will find the earth. Your right knee will be pointing up. And then your left leg will be in this 45 degree angle. And stay here, ensuring your right shoulder is staying glued to the earth. And you can slightly assist the right thigh away from you with your left palm. Checking out that right foot and right knee to ensure that they are pointing in the same direction. Three more deep breaths here. And then inhaling back to center, releasing that right leg, hugging your knees in towards the chest. Placing the right foot on the earth, left ankle crosses over onto the right thigh. You have so many options here. You can stay here, clasp your hands around the right thigh, clasp your hands around the right shin, assist the opening with your left elbow. Choose your own adventure and really respect what your breath has to offer you today. Double check your foot and make sure that it is flexed. Three deep breaths here. Wonderful. And then easy does it, letting go of the thigh or the shin and dropping this whole unit over the right hand side, keeping your left shoulder on the earth, your right outer leg is on the earth, your left foot is on the earth, left knee pointing up, toes and knees pointing in the same direction. And then return to your breath. Allowing gravity to do the work here And really thinking about moving the left heel away from your body. Sorry, the left hip away from your body. One more expansive breath here. And then inhaling back to center, hugging your knees in towards your chest, and then bringing all of your limbs up towards the sky and really vigorously just shaking everything. Shaking, shaking, shaking. creating a full body shake, and then just releasing everything down to your Shavasana. Feet wide, arms wide, gravity holding you.
dropping everything here. Allowing that sweet and subtle practice to create a deeper awareness of your breath sinking with your body. Creating a beautiful relationship. Breath with movement. Breathe then, as if breathing for the first time, as if remembering with what difficulty you came into the world, what strength it took to turn that first impossible in-breath into a cry to be heard by the world. Your essence has always been that first vulnerability of being found, of being heard, and of being seen. And from that beginning, the one who has always needed and being given so much invisible help. This is how you were when you first came into the world. This is how you are now, all unawares in your new body and your new life. This is the raw vulnerability of your everyday. And this is how you will want to be and be remembered when you leave this world. Staying here in this Shavasana as long as you can, as long as feels nourishing. And then slowly rising with your breath, returning to your beautiful day, to your beautiful life with this enhanced awareness of your breath. Meeting your breath where it is throughout your day and becoming infinitely grateful for this magnificent body that we have. Thank you for your practice today. That was a really sweet way of waking up. The wild in me honors the wilderness within you. Namaste.